Oi Charlies, welcome back to the Live Life. We're doing a mukbang today. Why? I don't know. I'm eating because I'm hungry. I don't know why you're watching. Also, I'm just gonna do like a young Q and A. Answer some questions because I've come to realize that we have like a bunch of new subscribers um, because of the video that we did with with Barbara. My rings, my fingers feel naked. Um, Joel and I are calling it the Barbara effect. Ever since we did the video on Barbara's thing, our followers on, on, on every platform have just gone up. So I'm aware that we have quite a few new subscribers. Welcome to the fam. You are officially Charlie's. The food is here, but you can't see it. I think, I don't, I've never done a mukbang before. I think you're supposed to see the food. So let me slap on a different lens and let's see how we're going to work this out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my first mukbang, I think. Oh, it's my second one, but can you focus down here? I don't know where this thing is focusing. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. I don't know if it, I don't think it focused on the food, but you just have to take my word for it. This is, I think if I do that, that'll look better for the food. This is chicken chow fan, and these are pork dumplings from a place in Hatfield called Ichiban Thai. Um, I've had their sushi before, I've never had their, their other stuff, anything else really. And so this is the first time we we're trying this out for the first time. Father God, I pray in Jesus' name that this food, this mukbang is going to bang, Father. Father, I thank you for the hands that have made it. Father God, may it nourish my body in Jesus' name. Um, and I pray that this video is a success, you know what I'm saying? I hope that we get like a hundred likes in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, it has to be now. I mean, we prayed about it, so how can it not? I hate eating in public, and now I'm gonna, I'm literally letting hundreds of people watch me eat. My friend said I must act normal, I mustn't. I must eat normally the way I'd usually eat, so. Here goes nothing. I have a quick story, since we're getting to know me. I bought these USA bottles. Cause I was gonna work out, right? Why are you laughing for? What, Chris? Why are you laughing for? Why are you laughing for? I'm being serious. I'm being serious. No, you see, now you see, I'm talking facts. Yeah, I don't do if buts and maybes. I do absolutes. I actually bought this one first, and then I kept putting my oros in it, and I realized that I wasn't gonna be able to put my supplement in it because there was always oros in it. So I bought the second one for the supplement, and then I went to Bumalang and I forgot it there. So now I bought a third one, kind of different. I like it military style. And now I use all of them for my for my auras because I'm not working out anymore. <laughs> Do you miss the single life? Wow, what a first question. Obviously, this is someone who wants me. Da. <laughs> um, sorry, it's not happening. It's not happening. They didn't give me chopsticks, so I have to go commando with these. Oh. And their soy sauce is so little. That's that's a, that's not fair. Do I miss a single life? Um, I miss parts of it. Obviously, there's like a certain amount of freedom and all that stuff that you get with being single. But generally, no, because I'm very very happy with in, with my girl in my relationship. Pro life or pro choice? Now, if you are not woke like me and you don't know what pro life means or pro choice means, it's basically to do with abortion, right? Pro life, you saying that abortion should be banned, basically and women shouldn't be allowed to abort. Pro-choice, you're saying women should have the choice, shouldn't be illegal. I'll be straight, I don't really have an opinion about this. I feel like I don't know enough. Yeah, I feel like I definitely don't know enough, especially as a man, to really have like a substantial, like to have a solid opinion, you know? I don't wanna just talk bums out here and say what I think just from reading this right now. Um, I think a lot of thought needs to go into it and I haven't put in enough thought and I think that's actually wiser than just talking bums. So yeah, um, do you have a soulmate? I don't believe in soulmates. I don't. I believe that you choose people, you choose the person that you want to do life with, the person that you're going to make things work with, and you make things work. Um, for me, I chose Robin. Now, the reason why I don't believe in soulmates is because the concept is flawed when <clears throat> someone chooses wrong, which is inevitable right 
So not everybody will, will marry their soulmates. And so when you choose wrong and you marry my soulmate, who am I gonna marry? Someone else's soulmate? And then who are they gonna marry? Someone else's soulmate? You know, so the whole concept of having one person that's like made for you. If you mean like soulmate doesn't like you choose a person and that's your soulmate, that's a person that you like plan. If that's what you mean by soulmate, then yeah, I believe in that. But like if you mean like the one, you know the whole concept of the one, I don't believe in that. Um and yeah, so Robin Lee is 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 not the one. She's the one that I chose. Um, and the one that chose me. And I think that's a lot more powerful because you never base decisions in terms of getting into the relationship and leaving potentially the relationship. Um, you don't make it based on, oh no, I don't feel the same way or oh no, you're not the one, you know what I'm saying? You make it based on the decisions that you went keep going into it. Okay, is this person based on their characteristics, based, based on their beliefs, based on whatever, whatever, is this person the right person for me? If yes then we can do it. If no, then we don't. And the good thing is that those things usually don't change, right? They're not like your feelings, your emotions. If you make decisions and in terms of your life partner and your your, your who you're going to get into, not necessarily life partner, that's a bit deep, I'm only 21. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> but who you're going to get into a relationship with, then if you make those decisions with a sober mind, and a clear thought process and you use the thought process each time when you meet a person who might be of interest to you then I think you're bound to make just wiser decisions and more thought out decisions why do you have such a big head? Um, <laughs> I don't like this question first of all I don't like the I don't like the tone but um I was born with a big head, first of all. I know you, that's not what you mean, but I was genuinely born with a boy big head. The doctors thought that I had like excess fluid in my in my skull and they had to like do tests and all that stuff. No, it turns out I just have a big brain, baby. I just have a big brain. I want you two to start calling me most glorious and upright person of genius. That brings us swiftly towards the the other big head, metaphor, metaphorical big head. Was it poop? It was it poopy saying. Oh no, dude! I just I'm just an extremely confident person. But how can not? How can you not be? I just feel like I have so much favor, you know, from God. Obviously, um, I just have so much favor that it's like you know. I mean, think about David, right? David was a was a shepherd, and he goes and decides. He says, "I want to fight Goliath." Now what what do you think that how that how do you think that made the other shepherds feel? They were probably like, look at this dude, like what 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 a douchebag. They were probably thinking that, right? They were like, what a douchebag. He thinks he's better than us. What what makes him think that he can freaking take on Goliath, and he's just like one of us, you know? But basically, David knew. David knew who was in his corner. You know what I'm saying? So it's a kind of type of. No, I mean, maybe I'm over-spiritualizing it over here, but yeah, that's literally where most of my confidence comes from. I know, first of all, that I have the favor of God on my in my corner, and I also know that God has blessed me with incredible talents, with an incredible mind, with great looks. I'm made in His image, you know what I'm saying? How can I not have a big head? How do you guys not have a big, big head? That's the question. That we should all just be super confident, a little bit overly confident, slightly overly... I'd rather be slightly overly con confident than slightly underconfident which is I know not really a term but you hear what I'm saying I'd rather be that than this I'd rather be this than that rather um, are you the jealous type not at all not at all obviously a lot has been made on the internet over the past couple of months of me and my um, philosophies <laughs> obviously I have like my fair share of female friends and it's always like yeah well if your girl had like the same type of or oh yeah if your girl did i'd be fine i really would and i just don't see things that way i was telling my girl the other day that like when she gets attention from from gents i mean in the words of j cole i don't care if it's michael b jordan that's calling my girl i know she gonna never pick up um and so I, I guess that's also what gives me like that that assurance you know what i'm saying that security that like when when gents move to her I don't have to sweat nor fret because I know that like we're nice in fact to me it's like a compliment it's like it almost boosts my ego you know what I'm saying like you know there are lads out there that want my girl 
But they'll never have her. I have her. You know what I'm saying? That thing, that thing. So, yeah, I'm more on that side. When was the last time you truly felt scared? And what happened? The last time I truly felt scared. Um, hmm. Jeez, I don't know if this is uh, appropriate for. It's just got getting deep very suddenly. I want to put some of this here, but like, am I going to have enough for my dumplings now? You know what I'm saying? Uh, the last time I felt really, really scared, it involved another person, and I'm not sure if that person is comfortable with me. Um, okay, let me put it like this someone in my family. Someone in my family tried to commit suicide, and it was very scary. Because I love that person a lot. Um, and it was like, we had to carry this person to the hospital. Um, with the like, almost lifeless body. Um, the attempt was like an overdose. Um, and like, had to carry the lifeless body to the hospital. And it was like, it's it too late, you know? I always say life is short, guys. Like, if if you ask my friends, like I, 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 I always say yes. Opportunities to make memories. I, I'm always the type to say yes because, like, I think uh, something like that that made me realize that, yo, man, we can't take this life for granted. You know, can't take it for granted. Live it, with no regrets. Um, choose between watching football or MMA. Football, definitely football. I mean, I love MMA. I've, I've recently gained a huge passion for MMA, but I've, 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 I grew up on football. That I can't lose football. Definitely can't lose football. Mm. What are your pet peeves? People who don't speak English. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Um, I think people that talk a lot as well. Like, I'm watching the new season of Too Hot to Handle, and there's this girl who's just so loud, man. She's so loud and I'm like, bro, like, oh my days, you can shut your mouth for like a minute or two, you know what I'm saying, blood. What's your favorite feature on your face? I think my smile. My smile. I have pretty nice eyelashes, but I wear glasses now, so nobody really gets to see them. Are you guys enjoying this? If you're still watching at this point of the video, just comment, you cow. Yeah, say you cow. I feel like I'm eating like a cow. What social stigma do you think society should get over? Ooh, I love this question. This is loaded. Society is so sensitive. Oh my days, man. And like, we all expect everyone to be woke. And it's one thing to be woke, but it's so, it's another thing to like, like, I feel like we are little by little getting rid of free freedom of speech, bro, because it's mad what people are getting cancelled over. You know, like, people are getting cancelled for, like, the craziest things. And I get, like, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, no, not a lot. There's some stuff. Not definitely not a lot. There's some stuff that you really cannot speak lightly of or joke about. But, like, honestly, there's some stuff that, like, yo, dude, if I want to make a joke about it, I should be able to make a joke about it without half of the world attacking me or whatever. I always feel like I feel sorry for some of these celebrities that really like we're just so hypersensitive now. Like, oh no, you should be careful. Some of the things that you say, my man, like, come on, man. Like, I always say, right, offense is taken, not given. So if I offend you, please, man, ask ask yourself some real questions. Ask yourself some real. Why did this? Thing that a complete stranger on the internet say offend me so much ask yourself because clearly that's that's a that's a design flaw within yourself think about your life you are a failure you are a failure you can never make it i know that nothing that i ever read or see or whatever no matter how close it might be to home will ever offend me because i won't let it and you have that power everybody has that choice it's a choice Everybody has the choice to let something offend them or not. And you you can choose. Like, you you, I, you have that power. Nobody has the power to offend you. Nobody. Except maybe your close people. Like, people that you actually love. I feel like you don't... Yeah. But strangers? No stranger out there actually has the power to offend you. Please. 
If you had to delete one video from your channel, which would it be? Uh, okay, I'm gonna speak openly about this. So, my ex-girlfriend tag. I think if I, I had to delete one video, I'd definitely delete that one. There's a whole bunch of other videos that I really could just delete and not miss. I'd delete that one. Um, not because I have anything against or anything like that. This is would be the easiest to delete. Um, and the other day, actually, I was speaking to Alison. I was with Alison, rather. And I thought of, like, asking her, like, Yo, dude, by the way, are you cool with that channel being on the video? Uh, with that video being on the channel? Because, like, you never know. Maybe she, she just hasn't asked me to take it down because she... I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. Um, but I really don't need it to be up there. And... Alison, if you ever watch this and you really don't feel if you and you do feel some type of way about that video being up there Honestly, you have my number text me and it'll be down as soon as I see the message. I promise Listen, it's been an amazing experience. I still have a lot of food. Y'all just want to watch me eat. You can watch me eat mm. It's good by the way, I forgot to say you're supposed to say on mug bags, right? It's good. It's all good. It's been an amazing experience. Until next time. Ciao. Mic check one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. I can't speak and chew, but I'm hungry, but I want to speak. You know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry.